In this video, we will talk about the neuromuscular junction. The neuromuscular junction is a connection between the motor neuron and the muscle fiber through which the motor neuron activates the muscle. Let's first draw a brief diagram of the neuromuscular junction to understand its structure. So as you can see, this is the axon of the motor neuron. This is the axon terminal. This is the presynaptic membrane. And these are the various vesicles which contain the acetylcholine that is a neurotransmitter involved in the action. This is the voltage gated calcium channels. And this is the synaptic left which is approximately 30 nanometers in size. This is the postsynaptic membrane also known as sarcolemma. These three, three structures together form the synapse. Now these ion channels you see on the postsynaptic clefts. These are the acetylcholine receptors. Uh, which are basically the voltage gated sodium channels. So this was a brief description about the structure. Let's uh, see how the neuromuscular junction acts. It all starts when the action potential reaches the axon terminal. Now this action potential first acts upon the calcium channels. Since these are voltage gated, these open up and they cause the influx of the calcium into the axon terminal. After this influx, the calcium basically activates a group of proteins known as a snare proteins which involve proteins like synaptobrevin and syntaxin. And these proteins when activated, they attach to the membrane of the synaptic vesicles and cause the exocytosis of these vesicles. They, they fuse with the presynaptic membrane and they cause the release of the acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. The next step in the transmission is the action of the acetylcholine on the acetylcholine receptors. Since these are sodium channels, these open up and cause an influx of sodium ions into the muscle fiber. Since sodium is a positive ion, it causes the generation of action potential in the muscle fiber which in turn leads to either a muscular contraction or it may also lead to the increase in the tone of the muscle. So after the acetylcholine has uh, acted on the muscle, the enzyme acetylcholine esterase, which is also present in the synaptic cleft, it acts upon the excess of the acetylcholine and it degrades the acetylcholine so that uh, no more further action of the acetylcholine on the acetylcholine receptors take place. This was a brief description about the structure and action of the neuromuscular junction. I hope you find this video informative. Don't forget to hit the like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel for regular medical videos. Thank you so much guys for watching this video.